A man is dead after his car barrels into the side of a Rio Rancho house. The crash happened at Rainbow Boulevard and Tulip Road this morning. Action 7 News reporter Amber Lee is live in that neighborhood to tell us how one woman narrowly missed being hurt in this accident. Royal, imagine waking up to a gigantic hole in your bedroom. That's what happened here this morning. You can see the walls have been boarded up this evening. The woman that lives here says because she woke up just a little bit earlier, the story is being told differently tonight. Ying Cho Ying tells me in Mandarin, My husband thought I fell, but I had no idea what was going on. It felt strange. I came out and there was a big hole and a car inside my house. Ying was in the shower when the car slammed into the house. She and her husband are still shaken up. I had just got my last cup of coffee. I was out the door and I heard this great big boom, you know. A boom that was heard around the neighborhood. Rio Rancho police say a 35 year old man drove down Tulip Road and right into their home. The impact of this accident was so strong that you can see the cinder blocks from the back fence on this side of the street and into the neighbor's yard. I first looked at my wife to see if she was okay, and then I heard this I heard the man inside the car and he was moaning, but there was nothing else. There's nothing I could do. The man died at the hospital. Neighbor Kyle Larson lives right next door to the Gallegos's. He says eight years ago, a similar crash happened at his home. There's a picture of the car after they took it away. In that accident, the car ended up on the roof and on his house upside down. Larson says the city needs to do something about this intersection. I'll put speed bumps, uh, a barrier, anything, because this is twice now, and, and I don't want to see a third time because I don't think it's going to come out so well the next time. Ying says a scary scene that has left her rattled. Tonight, Rio Rancho police are not releasing the identity of the driver. Now, I spoke with the city of Rio Rancho, and they said if folks have concerns about the road, they should contact the city's public works department. Now, as for the family, they tell me, fortunately, they have insurance to take care of this hole. In Rio Rancho, Amber Lee, KOAT, Action 7 News. Well, Rio Rancho police say they're still investigating how fast the driver was going. At this time, they do not know if alcohol or drugs played a role in this crash.